the New York Jets, who had a meeting yesterday with Jadavion Clowney. He visits. He doesn't get a contract or a sandwich, so uh, we'll see if he ends up signing with the New York Jets. But honestly, especially after losing Bryce Huff, this is a deal that I would really like to see the Jets make on a one-year contract because I don't think it's going to be crazy money. I think PFF projected his contract at one year, $8 million, um, for this season, which I think would, one, fit in the Jets' budget and, two, be like a good value deal for a guy who, yeah, maybe never lived up to the first overall pick billing that he had with uh, Houston back in 2014, but is coming off probably his most productive season in the NFL at age 30. had over 70 pressures, nine, nine and a half sacks, and has always been one of the better run defending guys uh, at the edge rusher position. So uh, what would your thoughts be on the Jets potentially adding uh, Jadavion Clowney? I think this would be a good move, and I think you kind of mentioned that there. He's always been a great run defender. Hasn't always been a great pass rusher, although over the last three years, he's gotten a whole lot better in that regard. Of course, he had a nine-sack season in 2021, nine-and-a-half sack season in 2023. Still has never reached 10 sacks in a single season, never gotten to that double-digit threshold. Of course, that was expected of him when he was a rookie, first overall pick. But he just never developed into that pass rusher, but has always been, and especially in the early portion of his career, he was a pretty elite edge-setting run defender. Uh, and so over the last few years, he's kind of become a more seasoned pass rusher. And now when you look at what role he can play in a defense, I mean, he's a great rotational piece. Like this is exactly in that budget that you mentioned, let's say six to nine million, maybe eight million, whatever it is. He's just going to keep going all around the league on these one-year prove-it deals, and he keeps proving it. He keeps proving I'm a good rotational rusher, good veteran presence, and somebody who can add a lot to a team. So I, I like Jadavian Clowney. I, I even thought that if the Giants wanted to go ahead and sign a rotational pass rusher, he would have made sense prior to the Brian Burns deal. Now, of course, they don't really need someone like a Clowney, but I just think that what Clowney provides to a team and what he brings to the table, it's really solid production. Uh, and I think especially when you're looking at his ability to set the edge in the running game, this is definitely a high value sign into me. Yeah, I would be all over it, especially like if you had one criticism of the Jets defense last year, it was at times they struggled against the run. And the thought of having as your, you know, for early down first and second down edges as Jadavion Clowney and John Franklin Myers, those are two guys who are really productive against the run. And then that kind of sets up you know, a younger guy like Will McDonald, who can really kind of just be your third down specialist. You put him in obvious passing situations and just go, all right, pin your ears back, use that spin move and get after the quarterback because his strength is never going to be against the run at his size. But it kind of sets the Jets up where they have guys and even throw, you know, Jermaine Johnson on the list too is pretty good against the run. Um, but they're going to have the ability to set up certain packages then on early downs when it's obvious running or you know potential running situations where you could put your guys in situations to succeed and you're not necessarily relying on younger players like Will McDonald who might not be ready to take on an every down role in positions where, again, maybe it's not the best for him. So I, I like the depth that it would add to the group. Yeah, I'm in agreement with you. And that's what I was going to ask you was how do you think this affects Will McDonald, his development? Do you almost feel like this is – the replacement for Bryce Huff, or do you feel like, in a way, Will McDonald would be the replacement for the production lost by Bryce Huff? Yeah, it's kind of, I think they would use Will McDonald in that, like, okay, you're coming in on uh, obvious passing downs, like third, third and long, even if you get into second and long situations, like that's the point where he would come in. And honestly, like, I don't really see him being Will McDonald playing more than like f at the most 40% of snaps this year. Um, you know, he was pretty pro like in the limited size we saw him at uh, last year, but like 20% of snaps, but you know, it was pretty good at, at, at points last year. There's things to like about his game uh, and adding Jadavion Clowney, I think would just kind of make Huff or, or excuse me, McDonald's more of the Huff role replacement than Jadavion's coming in to be the, the Huff guy. It kind of just like shuffles around what the roles would be. And I think they're better suited for that. Like Clowney's not a guy who you are going to go, okay, you're going to be our third down specialist against, you know, obvious passing spots as the edge. Like that's not his strength. So Will McDonald, I think would, would slot into that role. And then Jadavion Clowney, John Franklin Myers, Jermaine Johnson, those guys are going to be like the really focal points on the, the early downs. 
Yeah, that's what I was kind of envisioning as well. But one last thing about Will McDonald. Do you feel like a signing of Jadavian Clowney maybe says anything about the way that the front office feels about McDonald and his future development? Do you think maybe it's something where like if they had higher expectations for McDonald, they wouldn't even look at a Clowney. He would step into that role. Like, how do you think that this reflects on McDonald and kind of the team's belief in him? Yeah, that's a good question question and a and a good point right like i could see that side of the argument where it's well if they really believed in will mcdonald then they wouldn't necessarily need to go out there and uh add another edge rusher like a clowny but the pushback i would have on that is just this defense and their philosophy all the way from the defensive line coach white cotton to the defensive coordinator jeff olbrick into robert sala like they want to be deep on the defensive line to rotate guys and keep people fresh. They don't play people more than really like 60% of snaps. They're going to have a lot of guys in that 40 to 50, 55% of snaps range. And the reason for it is because they like to rotate them to keep them fresh and then just put them in positions to succeed. So my interpretation, it wouldn't be like, Oh, this is a signing that shows me they don't believe in Will McDonald. I think, uh, you could you could have made that case a little bit stronger if they retained Bryce Huff, because I think they they play similar roles and the Jets kind of envisioned Will McDonald to take over that role for Bryce Huff. Now the reason why I was so adamant about keeping Bryce is like I don't know I would have rather if you gave me the option of Jadavion Clowney and Will McDonald or Bryce Huff and Will McDonald I'm taking the Bryce Huff uh, version at at this point in his career as he's I I view him as an ascending pass rusher in this league. But I, I don't think it necessarily ha means that it has to be uh, a, a slight against Will McDonald because I think they're just kind of going to bring him on slowly and, and protect him a little bit. I don't think he's really someone they view as an every down player. And maybe that gets into a side of then why is he p to being taken 15th overall, which is a very fair question. But uh, I, I don't think it's something that um, indicates that they're not high on Will McDonald. Well, I, I guess I'd agree with you, and I'll, I'll just say I think that kind of the way that you look at Bryce Huff, maybe that's how they're looking at Will McDonald. Maybe they're hoping you, – you mentioned you think that Bryce Huff is an ascending pass rusher in this league. Maybe they're trying to get Will McDonald into that kind of uh, trajectory and get him into that role. So I think that you know, kind of how we broke it down there makes a lot of sense. Clowney is going to be more of your every down guy, a lot of you know run stopping there, but – moving Will McDonald into that role because as we mentioned before Bryce Huff was really only playing about 500 something snaps if you could get Will McDonald into that 500 snap role uh, and playing that Bryce Huff role maybe he has that breakout and he turns into the next Bryce Huff and then I think Jets fans will feel a lot better about letting Bryce Huff walk in free agency still won't feel probably great about it but we'll definitely feel a whole lot better especially if you do have Clowney in the mix and he's productive for you this year so I think that'll be really interesting to see how this defense kind of shifts around if they do end up signing Clowney.